All right, this is just a quick little video it's about a parking ticket that I got from uh, Home Bargains uh, in Whitfield and Dover. Basically, on the 26th of May, I went into the car park uh, before 10 o'clock, about 9.22. And I didn't realize, it says on the signs that, the, that you're not allowed to go on the car park before the, the time stated, which is 10 till 4. Well, I went in at 9.22. So I sat in the camper van and I'm watching these other cars driving into the car park. And then about 9.30, I saw people going into the store with pushing trolleys and going into the store. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I went back to the store today with the parking ticket and spoke to the deputy uh, store manager, who was very, very nice, very helpful. No complaints whatsoever. Soon as I explained to him what happened, he said, don't worry, I'll cancel it. And he went away, he got another phone and he said, right, he says, right, I've cancelled that ticket. He said, take a photo of that as evidence that it's been cancelled. So I did that. I took a photo on my phone of his of his phone showing that the ticket was cancelled. But I, I spoke to the young lad and I said to him, but if if you're not allowed to come onto the car park before your operating times, i.e. on that day it was 10 till 4, Surely other people are going to end up getting parking tickets and they're going to come to you with the same problem. He said, yeah, but we open the store at 930, but for browsing only. And I said, but yeah, but you're you. That's where the confusion is. Because people think and they're seeing them barriers open, they think they can drive in and just wait till the doors open so they can go in. And you open the doors, as you've just said to me, at 930. But the store doesn't start operating till 10 o'clock, 10 till 4. So I would imagine the tills aren't open till 10 o'clock. He said, yeah, we just allow people in for browsing. He said, we have been on to Parking Eye, the company who issued the tickets, and trying to get them to change their times. I said, well, at the end of the day, I said, there's no way I'm going to, I would even pay this fine. I said, it says on your signs two and a half hours maximum. I was only in your car park two hours and two minutes. And it actually states it on the ticket, two hours and two minutes. So how are they sending me a parking ticket? I haven't gone over two hours, 30 minutes, two and a half hours. The only reason they're sending me a parking ticket because I went into the car park before 10 o'clock. Well, I went in at 9.22. Now, see, I've read it on the signs that it only works... The, 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 you're only allowed to park between 10 and 4. And if you go in before, then that's where the problem starts. But you open the barriers, the manager, they open the barriers of the car park, so people are just going to drive in. <laughs> it's human nature. People will just drive in and sit in their cars and waiting for the store to open. I said, I come here all the time. I get my breakfast in your cafe. It was a very nice cafe, very reasonably priced. They got good clean toilets as well and facilities there. So I use them. I said, only to find, you know, I'm breaking the sort of the parking eye company's rules. He said, yeah, we need to get on to it. We need to sort it out. He says, uh, they've been doing this for a while. I said, but what you should be doing is keeping those barriers closed until 10 o'clock. Then nobody can drive in. Because that's where the problem is. You opening up the barriers before 10 o'clock. So people are being invited into the car park. <laughs> he says, yeah. He said, don't worry about it. He said, I've cancelled the ticket. He said, we're trying to sort it out with Park and I. Uh, they changed their times. I said, well, something needs to be done soon. Because you're going to end up with a lot of people uh, coming in. And they're going to end up all coming to you with their tickets. And, and explain, especially... If they've been there less than two and a half hours, like in my case, two hours and two minutes. But the only reason I got the ticket is because I come in before 10 o'clock. So just be aware of that. If you're going into supermarkets on a Sunday or, I would, you know, uh, before the opening times, because I'm sure this is happening up and down the country. But there's no way I'm paying us. It's a hundred pound fine. Uh, if you pay within 14 days, it drops down to 60. Well, they can take me to court because there's no way I'm paying that. Um, 
not when the car park was open. The store opened the barriers to let you drive in before 10 o'clock. So to me, the store is at fault. And they need to uh, chase it up with parking eye. All right. Anyway, I'll keep you updated on it and uh, let you know what happens. <laughs> All right. Bye now. I was going to say, um, if anything like this has ever happened to you and you got a ticket when you've gone into a store's car park before the actual trading times, i.e. 10 o'clock till 4 on a Sunday, uh, just let us know. Um, and what happened with you? Did you have to pay the fine? Was it cancelled? Yeah, just pop something down in the comments. All right, then. Bye now. See ya. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.